I wrote this song for Daryl, and I find it in this old diary of mine from 1966. And I, I realized that I, I remember why I wrote it. Daryl and his wife Danny had invited me to visit them in Belgium, but I was becoming famous by then, so I couldn't come. So I wrote a song. So the song goes to Daryl when I couldn't go to Belgium. Come all ye starry starfish Living in the deep blue sea Crawl to me, I have a proposition Would you walk the North Sea floor to Belgium from England? Bring me word of the banjo man with the tattoo on his hand. By the time they arrive in London, Many of my contemporaries are going to folk clubs and we become aware of Daryl Adams. Daryl Adams, a strange figure with a cowboy hat and a denim jacket and cowboy boots and a banjo. But something was different. This wasn't Pete Seeger. This was different. In his lyrics and in his playing, he was informing us of this Buddhism, this spiritual change that could be made if we made our songs in a certain way. And Donovan hired me to play the banjo on his next record. Then I went to the session at the over there in Soho, and I met Donovan, and I heard what they were doing. And it was fine, really. He was a fine young man, and he was doing good, and he was singing well. I became his pupil. Just as Dylan was the pupil of Woody Guthrie, Daryl Adams was my master. And I traveled with him for a year in his clubs, out of the clubs, into my hotels, out of my hotels, and I learned techniques. So what he brought to me personally, if you listen closely to my work, the way I touch the guitar is the way Daryl touched the banjo. And so I owe so much to Daryl Adams.